Hello, Dawn Master here. Thanks for watching. It's going to be quick because I'm tired. It's been a long day, but I really wanted to get this video out for you. There's Lou again. Won't leave me alone. She was gone for a couple weeks and she finally came home. But you can't be in my video. Anyway, last week I asked my Mac dealer to order me this set. This is the Adder, the supplemental set to the half inch drive impact wobble sockets that go from half inch or 7 16 up to 15 16 Now I don't have that set, but I have the metric set that goes up to 24. So I have a 15 16 or 24, but that SAE set was on back order out of stock. But this set he was able to get, this is the SVUP66TR, made in USA, obviously, in the metal tray, unopened. And this is the adder set to the metric swivel sockets. And it goes from one inch, I believe, up to inch and five sixteenths or inch and a quarter. Pretty big freaking sockets. Um, so that came in a little pricey, but I didn't want to go expert. I don't like the collars. My coworker has a set and he let me look at them and three of his were already bound up like they don't spin nicely. So the expert set goes up to inch and a quarter or something like that for 300 bucks. But this set, this six piece set alone is more than that. I think it was 429 for this set. And then the smaller set, but has more sockets. I think it's a nine piece. It has, you know, up to... 15 16 and it's pushing 600 and something dollars luckily it was on back order so i couldn't get it but these bigger ones come handy when you're working on big trucks getting in tight spots frame work motor mounts put on a high powered impact and go to town and then i did a video on this torque wrench uh, it's been on his truck for a couple months in the used bin someone traded it in for a new one and uh couple months ago i asked him hey how much you want for it and he said hey 80 bucks it's yours I'm like well i already have a tor half inch torque wrench but it's an electronic snap on tech angle 250 the older model but i've always wanted a regular nice half inch drive torque wrench that's not electronic but anyways after i grabbed these from him because they showed up he's like here you go there's your impact swivels and then i was asking him about this i'm like Man, it's been on your truck for a while. I'm surprised no one's picked it up. Is it because it's in the case and people are too lazy to open it? He's like, no. Some people are just, they don't like the older stuff. But it works perfectly fine. It's a finer tooth. It's got a nice knurled spinner handle on it. It's locking. And it works perfectly. It goes to 250. It's got the red anodized handle. It's a little bit worn down. And it's made in the USA with the old logo. And part number for you guys, TWF8250. So he went ahead and just gave it to me. I asked him how much he wanted for it since it's been on the truck for a while. And he's like, it's yours. Merry Christmas. And that's what a good Mac dealer does when you're a good customer and you order stuff from him that is in the few hundred dollar range. And you're, you're consistently buying... <laughs> The more expensive tools from him and he's a good dealer lifetime warranty no questions asked drill bits you name it and then on my way out i noticed he stocks up these k-tool uh crimped made in taiwan wire wheels with the straight the circular kind so i can actually put them in my die grinders my work doesn't supply them for us they supply two different sizes that are crappy so i got that from him i don't remember how much it was but the torque wrench was a gift from him he said merry christmas and then the svup 66 tr made in usa i believe is 429 and it's in stock so we're gonna go ahead and open this i did a video on this and tested it on the jeep still has the original case it's very nice so we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up I hate ripping this plastic off. I want to just leave it on it, but I'm going to be using this at work here soon. I know that because I needed it the other day. But I made do with a universal and a regular short socket. But it was really tight and I was rubbing up against stuff with my Matco stubby half inch. So these are going to come really handy. They're big sockets. So 
that's the big daddy kit right there that's up to the biggest size of universal they make in half inch drive and uh the biggest size is a inch and five sixteenths oh mama inch and five sixteenths that's a big that's a big sucker easy insert end spring loaded welded pin I'm sure you can get these in the proto name maybe too but man good quality made in texas made in their dallas plant and then we got so we got inch and five sixteenths like i said so inch and five sixteenths and then our next one is a inch and a quarter big old boy and then we got an inch and three sixteenths which is a common size on big trucks some universal sets skip that size for some reason and then we have an inch and an eighth and then we have an inch and a sixteenth big daddy and then we have the old one inch and this thing will probably get some of the most use inch is really common on big american trucks frame bolts and whatnot um 15 16 is really common too but why i ended up not not being a big deal to get the uh smaller set this is a continuation to it it was on back order obviously but it goes up to 15 16 and it is a 600 and something dollar set maybe 700 and 15 16 I use a lot, but I have the metric set. And like I said, it's from 13 to 24. So I'll just, I just use that 24 or the 22. Because the 22, I believe, is a 7 8 21 or 22, and it has those sizes in it. So I'm going to make way with that for now. And then later on, I'll buy the uh, smaller set for this. So I'll have all of them. All USA made impact swivels for half-inch drive. For half inch drive you just have to go usa those high torque impacts really beat on beat on the uh taiwan ones uh, taiwan ones are good i have the sun x but it broke you know i got to warranty it and it still hasn't came in the mail i'm waiting for it still but i replaced it with a snap on for drive lines um for home use sure the taiwan ones are great but for professional uh heavy duty mechanic that's putting in 40 50 60 hours a week um, you just sometimes have to go with the big, or the name brand, USA ones. The ADVs won't hold up. Uh, they might. Yeah, there's a warranty, but my Maco dealer isn't consistent. Unfortunately, he doesn't show up enough. Um, so I pull the trigger with the Mac dealer because he has the best service, you know. So kind of pricey, but it feels good to have these sockets now. Now I don't have to worry. And they're in the metal tray. I'm probably just going to leave them in the metal tray because they're so big as it is. I'm probably not going to put them on a rail. I'm just going to set the tray in my cart, hang it off the side, on the inside, or just set it in my top drawer in my big box. And so they'll be there when I need them. So anyway, that's the uh, SVUP66TR made in USA. And then the K-Tool 3-inch crimped coarse wheel brush made in Taiwan. So it should hold up better than the Cheap Harbor Freight Chinese ones. And this is a KTI 79217. My Mac dealer carries a lot of K-Tool stuff. Um, K-Tool jump packs. He doesn't sell the NOCOs anymore because he doesn't like them. He doesn't like the X, which I've explained to him. But the regular ones are okay. But enough rambling on. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one. Thanks.